We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Happy Friday. We're going to give you an update on Michael and Dell. Uh, what a Friday. Uh, you know, I had a feeling uh, that when we had Mike Lindell coming on that we were going to get all kinds of attacks. Uh, all kinds of attacks. And we certainly did. I mean, it was the perfect storm. We don't know what caused it, but every single platform was affected. The internet, the platforms, Google, uh, some kind of cyber uh, hit came through. I, I, I'm told Google was nationwide, uh, but whatever it did, it just brought everything down. Uh, except for one thing, I was able to talk to Mike Lindell. Um, the good news, the good news is God overcomes. Our God overcomes and he takes something that looks horribly bad because one minute to, one minute to two, Mike Lindell and I am talking uh, and we couldn't get production up at all. Everything was just gone. His Glory TV, gone. Chat, gone. Facebook, gone. Periscope, gone. YouTube, we knew YouTube. Restreaming, all of it was gone. Uh, but praise God, it's all come back. And uh, what Mike Lindell and I had a great chance to talk. So God works these things for his purpose and his glory. God's hand is on this. There's no question about this. So Mike Lindell, while we were going through this, was very calm. And we, were, we, 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 got, we got a chance to chat before he came on, which was uh, before he's coming on, which is great. So... We were chatting, we were talking about my pillow, and uh, just a real, really, really great guy. I mean, people come across on the camera, and they, you know, you, they can be one thing, but you really know the colors behind the scenes when you're talking to them. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing he can do to impress me. Um, but he was absolutely just in, incredible. Uh, he was very patient. He understands that there's a lot of tests, there's a lot of attacks, especially because of uh, what's going on. Uh, with the deep state specifically, uh, the attacks on President Trump right now. We want to continue to pray for President Trump. Uh, there's a, lots of attacks going into this weekend. Um, so with Mike Lindell, uh, he was pressed for time. So what we're going to do with Mike Lindell, this is so cool. So tomorrow, we, tomorrow Shabbat, tomorrow Saturday, we normally do not go out on Saturday. Uh, but Mike Lindell is coming on tomorrow on Shabbat Shalom. He's going to give us two hours so how, how great is God? We're going to go two straight hours with Mike Lindell tomorrow from 3 o'clock Eastern to 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, he was going over and about and uh, above to try to accommodate getting us on. And uh, so tell everyone tomorrow, Mike Lindell, we'll get it out on our, all of our social media to, to, as well. Uh, but Saturday will be 3 to 5. Pray, pray that there's no attacks on our, our production uh, because we don't know what we did. It just... It just, it showed back up. It came back up. It's all back. So tomorrow, three to five, Mike Lindell is going to give us two straight hours. Uh, how cool is that? That's really cool. So uh, I want to give everybody an update on where we go because we fly out on Monday to California. Last thing we want to do is be flying to California when we have production issues back in Cleveland. Uh, but praise God, uh, it just magically came back up. By the hand of God. Just boom. I was like, Jack, it just showed back up. How did that happen? <laughs> and when you try to rationalize how this possibly could happen, you just, you, you, you can't. We've never seen anything like that uh, go down everywhere. Even the internet wasn't working, but the internet was working. It's just, it was strange. But God always opens and flips that around. So tomorrow, uh, Saturday, Shabbat. I don't normally do Shabbats, but for, for Mike Lindell, we're going to do two hours. Uh, I'm glad to do that. So tomorrow, he loved the God bless him uh, Trump hat, by the way. Uh, so we're going to get into some really, uh, really cool stuff with Mike Lindell. Two hours worth tomorrow. But I want to give everybody an update on that. Not to, not to fear. Uh, we are going to have him back tomorrow for two hours. And thank you for your prayers. Uh, when we are not going and you see tests, you know we're under attack. And uh, we were certainly under huge attack. Uh, even email were under attack. So uh, pray for our president as well. He is under huge attack with this report in the Atlantic. Uh, it is bunk, but they are going to try to uh, come after him in any way and every way they possibly can. Um, so glad my Shabbat service is online, both with streaming and the same time. So I'll have to pause my uh, SS Shabbat service. Yeah, you're going to want to tune in for Mike, Mike Lindell tomorrow for two hours. It's going to be great. Uh, he's really busy, as you know, uh, this 
uh, this last week, I ran into three people who ran into literally were with Mike in three different places in the country. One was in um, uh, one was one was uh, where was he in D Dallas? The other one was in uh, he was at in the, the the White House lawn, and I can't remember the third person that told me where he was. So. Uh, you have, says, I e email you a question about the tribe of Judah. Uh, I'm not sure about the tribe of uh, the question. If you want to ask the question, maybe I can answer the question before we turn off. We're going to make this real quick. Uh, today is just to update uh, what's going on, pray for our president. There's many attacks. Also was told um, from some sources, watch September 11th. We are going to be in California on September 11th. Uh, there is a planned attack uh, on September 11th, and we pray that we thwart this. Um, so we got to continue to pray. Things are going to start to intensify. Remember, we leave for California on Monday, September 10th, and September 11th. We will be doing meet, meet and greets in San Clemente, right on the beach. Mrs. His Glory. Um, uh, okay, I found my lineage to the kings of Judah. You found your lineage to kings of Judah. Awesome, awesome. You're part of the tribe of Judah. Uh, we, we, we will do a study on how you can check that out sometime. It's, sometimes it's easy to figure out, sometimes it's hard. In my case, it was really easy to identify what tribe I was. Well, when God tells you what tribe you are from, you know it, but uh, he was able to show me in proof as well through uh, genealogy um, and also the emblems that they used, absolutely emblems that they used. House of David, so you're part of the rare group. You can now let the C underscore A know that you're from the house of Judah. They were attacking for years, as we've been saying, the house of Judah or the house of David, because the house of David is in position to uh, be a part of this big reset. And that's probably why God didn't tell me I was Jewish until only a few years ago. I think it was 2014 or 2015 that he told me he was Jewish. I said, why didn't you tell me I was Jewish before? I don't know, I'm sure I've said this before, but what he said to me, he goes, he goes, I wanted you to love my, 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 my beautiful Jerusalem and my, my country, Israel, as a Gentile before I showed you that you are Jewish. And I've always loved Israel. Matter of fact, people would always come up to our house. We had an Israel flag up and they'd say, are you Jewish? We'd say, no, no, we're not Jewish. They kept saying, are you sure you're not Jewish? No, we're not Jewish. Come to find out we were Jewish, are Jewish. And Mrs. His Glory is Jewish as well. Um, I was able to track her ancestors back to, uh, to uh, Auschwitz. Uh, she had a relative die in Auschwitz. And um, so from the Polish, Polish line of Jews, I'm from the German line of Jews uh, going back to uh, Ju Judah, uh, to the house of Judah. Uh, the emblem is the, uh, the, the lion and also the, the, the castle of King David. That's how we were able to, to realize that. So that makes Macaroni Bear really, really, really Jewish. Uh, more Jewish than both, both of us. Remember, King David wasn't completely Jewish either. People forget that. So that Christ had bloodline of Jew and Gentile in his bloodstream. Because if you see the genealogy of David, uh, Ruth, his great-grandmother, was a Moabite. Uh, uh, Boaz's mother was uh, Rahab, the, Rahab uh, the harlot from uh, the book of Joshua. Uh, she was a, she was a uh, Gentile too, and we know Perez. Perez was a Gentile, uh, and that's t ten lines from the, the tribe of, or from Perez, which means breach, to King David was uh, uh, spot on. All right, so um, we pray for a president. We a lot of things are going to start uh, hitting. Uh, normally, we'd say we won't, we'll see you until Sunday service. Um, but tomorrow we're going to have a special guest, two hours straight of Mike Lindell. And he said, I can go two hours if you want on Saturday. I said, sure, because <laughs> that'll give you time to get everything fixed. <laughs> all right. So God bless you all. Tune in tomorrow. Pray for our president. We pray for our president. We pray for, first of all, we pray for Israel and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, what they got to do. We pray for our president because the attacks are coming Harder and harder and harder and harder. Uh, we pray for September 11th that this attack of what it may be. I don't know the details of it yet. Uh, I'm not sure if they do. Um, but we need to pray. Uh, we need to continue to pray. You know, Remember, they like to attack on, on, on uh, September 11th. September 11th, again, is Patriots Day as well. So the 10th and 11th when we're in California. 68 meet and greet in San Clemente. 
uh, we will be there doing baptisms. So bring your acoustic uh, musical instruments uh, so that we can play uh, praise music as well, fellowship, praying in the spirit, uh, wherever the Lord takes us, and we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do baptisms as well. Um, so we continue to pray for our president, his, uh, his cabinet, uh, we pray for our law enforcement, first responders. We pray for the, uh, our military, foreign and uh, above ground, below ground, foreign and domestic. Keep an eye on the Marines is what I'm told. Keep an eye on the Marines. And again, I get to get next week, get a Marine uh, sergeant is going to take me on a personal tour of Camp Pendleton Infantry Training School, my, my, where I went to infantry training school. So uh, that will be on September 11th as well. So what a day we got going next week. Next week, for, uh, that's a week from today, week from Friday. So uh, we pray last but not least for each and every one of you that you may be a light in these end days to a friend, to a family member, or even a stranger. Go in his shalom. Again, we'll see you back here tomorrow on Shabbat uh, with Mike Lindell from 3 Eastern to 5 Eastern. It's must-see TV. God bless you all. Shalom.